What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Seth the Line Surgeon. Um, today is a lovely day. Um, I think I'm gonna start cutting this week and I'm welding my trailer. If y'all remember probably a few months ago, uh, well a lot of months ago, <laughs> I broke out the welder. If y'all can see it over here, over there in the corner, um, to weld my tailgate, which was it's in horrible shape. Right now it looks way better than it did, but I still have that gaping hole there. And so that's what I'm gonna work on right now. I'm gonna show y'all what I've welded so far. I'm actually getting back into the groove for those who are not familiar. I welded like 20 years ago. <laughs> so I'm starting to get back in the groove. I've been welding this since yesterday. Um, and as you know, I'm a, let that truck go back. As you know, I'm a professional procrastinator. And so, of course, in true cephalon surgeon fashion, I waited until the week I have to start mowing to do this. I could have did it all winter time, but it was too cold. <laughs> Anywho, let's get to it. Yes, sir. All right, people, let me show y'all some, um, for those who weren't familiar, like, this basically, what y'all see here, all this mesh here was completely off. And I'm, I mean, like, for every, every place it can be disconnected, it was at least, like, sticking out by, like, that much. <laughs> Just flapping, flapping, flapping. Um, I, I'll give you an example over here. And I kind of weld, and I started on this side over here. <clears throat> BLC, it was like this. See how this is? Now imagine it like this, but all the way around. And so, like I said, I've been doing these right here. I get the focus. I, I, like I said, I'm, 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 I'm getting a little better. You know. I hit this right here. I went all along there. I went all along that side. I did that complete side or all the way around on that gate. Cause I have two gates if y'all can see. I'm gonna do this part last. But right now what I'm working on is this big gaping hole here. <laughs> uh, yeah. My foot has gone through this many times. Tires have gotten stuck in this thing many times. Um, I started it right here uh, because not only was this curve down, I kind of just banged this down one time when it came loose. And so I just kind of drive my mower around it. But um, not only was this through the bottom, it was disconnected on top. So I did a couple of tack welds here to hold it. And I'm going to attempt to like bang it and see if I can get it as close to this as possible. Once I get it closer there, I'm gonna tack weld this side. And like I said, I'm gonna try to salvage as much of this as possible. Um, I actually was looking around for this mesh. I don't even know where to get it, so. Um, but at this point, I think I have a fix. I have this little strip of metal here. Oh! That I used when I was making my um, shackle straps mom i told you i made my shackle strap the first time so i saved this piece of metal so once i get it i'm gonna make a couple of straps hopefully i'll be able to make about three yeah i think i'll be making about three and boom 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 just to fill in that gap maybe one over there um just to fill in that gap so my tire or my feet won't fall through this hole and um so we can get to it so let's start banging So what's happening is I still got a weld higher and my welds came loose. Those are some crappy welds. So 
Can I weld it from the top? Because I tried to weld it on the side and jump over. I guess that didn't work. Let's give this another go again. Come on, buddy, buddy. people now I got about 12 welds versus five so let's see if this bad boy can hold while I bang it okay I think that's good enough now I can move my clamp from here to here and um, try to tack that side Alright people, as you can see, there's no more dangling piece. It's not flush, but at least it's not sticking out. So, now like I said, I'm going to see if I can salvage this. This part is folded over, so I'm going to see if I can fold this piece over. Then also, y'all see there's a gap right here. I can stick my hand through it. There we go. So, in order, in order to salvage, salvage this, I'm going to try to press that together and then weld those tack weld those two pieces together. Then, like I said, all I will need, I think, I, I mean, all I really have, I think I have enough to make three slacks. So I might make one and two. Like I said, I have enough to make three slacks. So I thought I'd probably make one, two, and then probably put one right here, three. Think about cutting this off here. It's purposeless. 
All right, people. Um, right here is the the piece that was folded, like I was showing y'all from the other side. So I got that folded down. Hit some welds on that bad boy, and then this is the gap where I was sticking my hand through. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's just me getting back into welding, but I know certain materials they heat up. Uh, they're a lot thinner or whatever and so the mesh is a lot thinner so you can't really just like weld right into the mesh um, you have to heat up like this harder material and then kind of push the the melted puddle into the thing if that makes any sense if you weld you kind of know what I'm talking about so on this part I actually had to weld the mesh you know which it's kind of difficult you can see how where I broke broke off some pieces of the flux core but I got a few good welds I think it's pretty you know sturdy and yes I am welded in Crocs <laughs> my socks are gonna catch on fire uh, anywho um so now now on to this part I think I gotta prep this area um like I said I want to put two strips you know maybe one like right here and then like a one, another one right here. So what I'm gonna have to do first of all is grind off this old stuff here and right there. So I have a flat surface to put my strips. And then also, like I said, I think I'm gonna cut this piece off at this point because I wanna have a surface to put my other strip, which I'm gonna put that bad boy about right here and stretch it across here think that'll be good it'll be serviceable it's cheaper than paying somebody to fix this and I'm pretty sure this grade mesh would have been a nice little penny too um, and I plus I couldn't find it anywhere so <laughs> um, so let me get the grinding all right people um, right here is the the piece that was folded like I was showing y'all from the other side so I got that folded down hit some welds on that bad boy and then this is the gap where I was sticking my hand through uh, I mean I don't know if it's just me getting back in the welding but I know certain materials they heat up uh, they're a lot thinner or whatever and so the mesh is a lot thinner so you can't really just like weld right into the mesh um, you have to heat up like this harder material and then kind of push the the melted puddle into the thing if that makes any sense if you weld you kind of know what I'm talking about so on this part I actually had to weld the mesh you know which it's kind of difficult you can see how where I broke, broke off some pieces of the flux core but I got a few good welds I think it's pretty you know sturdy and yes I am welded in Crocs <laughs> my socks are going to catch on fire uh, anywho um, so now now on to this part I think I got to prep this area um, like I said I want to put two strips you know maybe one like right here and then like a one, another one right here so what I'm going to have to do first of all is grind off this old stuff here and right there so I have a flat surface to put my strips and then also, like I said, I think I'm gonna cut this piece off at this point because I wanna have a surface to put my other strip, which I'm gonna put that bad boy about right here and stretch it across here. I think that'll be good. It'll be serviceable. It's cheaper than paying somebody to fix this and I'm pretty sure this grade mesh would have been a nice little penny too. Um, and I plus I couldn't find it anywhere so <laughs> um, so let me get the grinding all right people got it all laid out can y'all see my vision now you get what I'm saying not too shabby not the best thing ever but um guess what my wheels will roll right over that nice and smooth might have to bang this up a little bit flatten it out a little whatever but it's better than stepping on it and almost chopping my foot off <laughs> 
And I think this is my the most favorite part. I'm so excited about this part. Because instead of having to tack weld these little stupid mesh pieces, I get to weld actual metal. Let's go. All right, people. If you didn't think I knew what I was doing, kind of got a little BDB right there. Kind of redeemed myself a little bit. Just a little bit. So let's get the rest of these in here. All right, people. There you have it. I think that'll hold a mower. Oh, buddy. Mm. Let me show you all the difference when we start it. Nothing fancy, but definitely, definitely, we'll get the job done. Anywho, I'm going to get on out here. Um, man, I had people calling me all day, asking me to do jobs all day. And uh, I'm excited, people. So I'm about to get out here and get to it. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Stay tuned. Yes, sir.